Hey guys, it's Marco again from Diablo3GoldGuide.net. Here today to talk to you about changes with Beta Patch 14. It costs a lot more to craft stuff, especially for the higher level items. Instead of three to five subtle essences for a level 24 item, you're looking at like 10 to 12 subtle essences. And the yellow items are at least five fallen tooth each. This is a huge increase. Not only did they increase the material cost, but they also increase the amount of gold it costs to craft. It's a lot of money if you start crafting a lot of items. Now to compensate this, they made it so gold drops much more frequently in the game. And it's a lot. It's at least two times as much as what it was. A character without gold find in the Royal Crypts can see some drops as high as 50. So that's really high compared to what was originally maybe 20. So with Gold Find, you can see some pretty crazy numbers dropping. And I think they did this to help offset the amount of money it now costs to train your artisans and craft gear. Uh, I think the net result will actually be a slight increase in the value of gold. And then if you look at vendors, their prices have gone through the roof for a lot of their items. And what I hope is that players will spend more money on Subtle Essences now in the auction house, and you may still be able to buy gear from vendors uh, salvage it and then try selling it yourself and some of the gear from the vendors is good enough that you could potentially be able to sell it on the auction house it's not it's going to be a rare case but it's possible right now I'm crafting flamberge swords I think it's uh, adventure or uh, apprentice flamberge yeah something like that and they're the best two hander in the game right now uh, the auction house is not up yet for beta patch 14 but I'm just making a bunch of those and then when it is finally up I'll sell them now looking at these mobs they're way harder there's a new affix that they have called nightmare which causes you to run away in fear and right now I'm in a four player game but off on my own so these mobs are taking forever to kill and if you watch my health is going down if I'm not picking up those health orbs I am probably gonna die with the barbarian you can run around a little bit you can kite a little bit but with these fiends, it's just not worth it because they're so fast. And half the time, they're not even hitting you. So it's better just to trudge through it and just smack them as much as possible and not worry too much about finesse. And with the barbarian, unless the mobs are stronger than you are, you really don't need to finesse them at all. You just burn through them and pick up your health orbs. It's a pretty simple and easy strategy. Now, one thing I want to talk about are resplendent chests. They appear once in the Forsaken Cemetery, from what I can tell, in, in one of the Defiled Crypts. And here's one that I pick up in a second here. But basically, every time I went to the Defiled Crypts in the Cemetery of the Forsaken, I found one resplendent chest Sorry, every single time. So farming-wise, you can pretty much predict that you're going to find at least one of these things and maybe two or three packs of rare mobs. That could totally total up to be like ten magic items every single run. This kind of thing I think Blizzard is doing so that you know that you're going to get at least something when you farm and the players feel some kind of sense of accomplishment. And sometimes you get stuck and can't get the gold. <laughs> Anyways, good luck and have fun guys. This is Marco from Diablo3GoldSecrets.com.